Hey, what's up YouTube and welcome back to another tutorial video from your boy Hunter. So, today I'm going to be addressing something, well, on some, something somebody commented on, you know, saying I'm having problems with UPBGE. If you start the game, objects disappear. Okay. So this is... What is it? Jasmo Gaming DS2703. So the problem you're probably getting is because you have a parent object and a child object parent to each other and the physics just doesn't want to work with you. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to add a plane. So there's going to be a floor mesh. And I'm going to select this one. I'm going to press G and I'm going to hold in my control button. So it snaps up. So G, Z and then snap it up. So now I've got a, let's say this is going to be the collision mesh. Okay. And this side, I'm going to have a player model. So I'm going to is shift Z and say this is going to be my player model. So let's just make it look like something. I'm not gonna make it look beautiful, but just so you have something to look at, and maybe you know we can try and animate this. Well, not animate it, just parent it to an armature. Okay, so let's say there's going to be a player model. And I know it doesn't look pretty, but okay, it's not my best work. Okay, so let's say there's going to be a player model. So sometimes you. <coughs> see the origin right there you want to fix that the first thing you do with any type of model if you want an armature attached to it I would recommend you shift S because to select it on the feet and then you know because it is selected and then press W on your keyboard for me it's W it might be something else for you you can just go search as well some of you might have F2 or F3 for search but for me it's just spacebar but W on the keyboard and it's going to be um, oh, where was it where was it where was it <coughs> excuse me not loop tools origin 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 I'm blind but like I said see oh don't be in edit mode for this so I've got a edit mode so set origin to geometry or to 3d cursor so now it will scale down like this okay cool so I'm gonna hold G on this and make sure it's based this is basically the same size as this so S shift Z and again you can see the origin is right there it's easy to fix
and there you go so now I've got a collision mesh for my player remember you can have a bit more of a rounded mesh otherwise you're not going to be able to enter doors but that's just for tutorial purposes so on viewport display go set this to wireframe there you go viewport display on the object data properties okay so from display as from texture to wire so now I can see my player model inside so the first thing I want to address is if you take this and you parent it to this control B and object come on you mother control B and object okay so now we've got a parent and we've got a child object now if I give this a dynamic body so this is my physics I'm gonna give it collision bounds and I'm gonna set this to dynamic this is going to be static you'll see it's gonna fly off you might get that happening so if I set this to no collision you'll see I'm gonna drop through the floor for some reason okay, that might just be because of the step height because this doesn't really have a collision bounds hmm weird Whoa. Let's see if I can fix this. Okay. Now it's stop popping up. And another thing, I usually do triangulated mesh for this, which is also what's messing around because now the collision bound is down there, so now it's going to drop. Okay, so another thing is now with this if I hide this, if I press H and I hide that, you'll see the player model disappears. So do not hide the parent object, the child will also be hidden in the game. If I do this with the armature, I'm going to create an armature for this now. So, armature. Why can't I find it? Uh, I'm just sleepy. Okay, so now I've got a single bone and I'm just going to make some armature for this. So, viewport display for the armature. That's this tab right there. You can see viewport display. And I'm just going to take in front. And I'm gonna, going to go into, well, front view which this is not set to okay so now this if I press alt r it won't do anything so going to front view I'm gonna tap into edit mode with my armature so let's just make something you know we can actually animate
Okay, so now I've got a fullometer. Cool. And also another thing. Always do that. Okay, so now I'm gonna parent this to this control P with automatic weights. It might mess around. Yep, it does. So I'm gonna have to alt P with this. Clear parent. You can see okay, alt P clear parent keep transformation and then this control P with automatic weights. And control tab, you will see. Now we can just animate this. Okay, so this is what I wanted to explain. So now I've got a main bone. This is the main bone. And this is not parented to the main bone. It's supposed to be connected. Control P and connected. Okay, cool. So this is the main bone. Then I've got a child bone. So this is a child of this. This is a child of this. So the leg bones are child to the main bone. The thigh bones, well not the thigh bones, the shin bones are connected to this bone, so that makes makes this the parent to this bone. The shoulder bone is a parent to the arm bone. The neck bone is the parent to the head bone. So that's parent and child. So control tab. So now you have a model. But you will see on the physics tab if I set this to I think static and this is still no collision and I take this and I parent it to this control P and with um, object might fly off okay it doesn't fly off it's, if it's static which is a good thing but if you have this set to dynamic for example you're gonna see boom it flies off if you set the armature to rigid body, it's going to fly off. So be careful with something like that. That's because there's problems. This is a dynamic body and this is going to be a rigid body. So there's collision problems. So I just set the armature to no collision. And then you can have a model, you know, properly animatable and movable in the game okay so that might be some of the problems you might have but if you take the armature this is one one thing you should know if you hide the armature okay so now you got the armature hidden and you press play you can see it disappears the player model will disappear so do not hide your armature do not hide your parent do not hide the parent, otherwise all of the childs will disappear. And another thing is, if you take this and you decide, okay, now here by your physics properties. Okay, I think I might not have it right here. Uh, uh, there you go. You see this button right there. If I turn this on, it doesn't do much. But if I turn it on for this, you will see the player model disappears. This, I don't think this will matter. Yeah. So just be careful, you know, go check your stuff, go make sure everything here in your collection, you don't have this turned off, you don't have this turned off. And also, don't have this turned off. Okay, this doesn't really do much. And also now I've got this cube and it's got an armature. So make sure you don't have the armature hidden. And also the model. Then make sure just make sure this is not turned off. 
make sure this is always on so that's the same as if you go to the model and you turn this on and off so make sure this is set to on that means it's off you can see it gives you a cross this means it's visible in the game so i hope this was useful for some of you that actually has this problem just models disappearing on you you know this could happen with a lot of things like shift animation a cube or a shift animation a monkey where's suzanne let's bring in suzanne there's suzanne so if i do this okay i don't want suzanne to be rendered you can see suzanne is not rendered if I don't want the cube to be rendered, I can turn it on. You can see it just disappears. If I take this and I parent it to this, Control P object, you will see nothing will happen until I pop it inside of this and it's gonna fly off. No, it doesn't fly off for some reason. Okay, cool. It doesn't fly off. That's anticlimactic. Weird. Oh, it's not inside. Oh, my bad. Hmm. Okay, but also if you set this to something else other than static, dynamic maybe. Oh, doesn't do much. Weird. That's new. Okay, but you see what I mean about turning this off. So there you go. My objects are disappearing because I'm turning this on and off. And remember, hiding the armature or the parent object, also not a good thing. So there you go. So make sure everything here is set to on. You don't want this to be off. So for this remember the parent object must always be on so remember also to rename your stuff so let's say you got this as player collider this will be player mesh So player armor, I just do that because I don't want to type in armature. So now you got everything renamed. So now you can see, okay, so this is set to invisible. Why is this set to invisible? Okay, so that's not supposed to be invisible because this is a parent object. This is set to visible. If you set this to invisible, why is this invisible? This is a parent object. It's not supposed to be invisible. See what I mean about that. So renaming your stuff is always better so you can find them a lot easier and then also if you have like stuff like this you know selecting all of them all of these and I go to my collections and I give it a new collection and just call this layer so that's my pair collection so now I've got the pair collection on and you go ahead minimize the main collection and you see you've got the player collection for some reason these are not all in that collection and uh, that's just an cube that's not player okay so now you might decide to turn this off not gonna do anything turn this off it's gonna disappear inside of the collection this is where it's gonna get interesting 
that's gonna make it disappear. So just be careful with this. Okay. So like I said, if this was useful to you, just give it a like. If you didn't like it, dislike it. I don't really it doesn't really matter because I'm just trying to explain child and parent objects disappearing on you. If you get this or oh, this problem, this might be your issue. So I think I just addressed everything that can go wrong in Blender, UPBGE, even BGE. This was a huge problem if you press a certain button, everything turns off for some reason then you have to go ahead and just turn everything on for and I don't know how long and at the end of the day you actually know, find something that says okay no you can just turn everything on here you know, why why <laughs> but okay <coughs> that's how you fix disappearing objects in UPVGE BGE uh, I think Rage Engine will have the same or range rage engine which is based on BGE 2.70 <coughs> or 2.79 if I'm not mistaken but it might have the same problem saving stuff disappearing on you okay so there you go um, like I said I hope this helped you a lot if you have any questions leave a comment down below don't forget to hit that subscribe and notification button so you'll always be in the loop for when the next tutorial video comes out or the next gaming video so thanks for watching and have a nice day